Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're finally going to be talking about Kier Weiss. I have waited a long time to try this brand because this is the luxury. This is a luxury clean beauty brand. Um, I think a lot of people term this as like the Tom Ford of clean beauty. I mean this is luxe, expensive, um, quality, clean makeup. So it's taken me a while to get here, but I had some gift cards and so I thought, you know what, what better opportunity than to try them out now? And um, I just bought a bunch of refills. I put them in my own palette and I'm gonna talk with y'all about each individual product. We're gonna apply them to the face. I'm gonna show you swatches in my lighting, my studio lighting, as well as natural lighting. So you can kind of see what they look like. I know a lot of stores aren't open right now, so you can't see swatches in person or you can't see them in person. So I'm gonna try and be as helpful, at least in that aspect, as I can. And then I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Are these worth the price? They are pricey. The pans individually like this are a little bit more affordable, um, but they're still pricey nevertheless. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts, let you know what I think, let you know how they apply, how they wear. You know the drill. I like to cover all my bases. And again, like always, if you have any further questions, anything I didn't cover, please comment down below and let me know. But as always, grab yourself something to drink. I'm drinking some iced coffee and uh, my sister made this and it's so, so good. So make sure you grab yourself a beverage and let's get into it. Okay, so to prep the skin today, I'm gonna use Glossier's Future Dew. I've been using this a lot and I really, really like it. Um, and I did do a full face of Glossier or fullish face of Glossier with a review. So if you're curious, I will link that up here and then I'll also link it down below. But this is definitely one of the standout products for me. Just gives the skin such a pretty glowy finish without any shimmer or glitter. I'm drinking iced coffee today. My sister actually made this for me. Um, and she seriously makes the best iced coffees. They're so, so good. So I'm quite enjoying my coffee this morning. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna use the Fit Glow Vita Active Foundation just because I haven't used this in a while and I kind of feel like being a little bit more full coverage today. I don't know what it is. Um, so I have the shade VF3, which is a tad light for me. So I'm gonna add one drop of the Daniel Sandler Watercolor uh, cheek color in hot toddy. It's like a liquid bronzer. I'm just gonna add one drop to this foundation All right, and then with this foundation, I actually prefer to use my hands Because um, it does set down really quickly. I just feel like the hands really works it into the skin um, and Sometimes a brush it can drag and just kind of pulls at the skin a little too much So definitely recommend this foundation with your hands And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Kosas Revealer Concealer. And then before we move on to the fun stuff, I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Pacifica brow gel and just run that through my brows. All right, so on to the fun part, which is the blush, bronzer, and highlight. These are all from the brand Kiar Weiss or Kier Weiss. I'm not 100% uh, sure on how to pronounce it, um, but this is the kind of palette that I made. So I purchased these from Full Lane and Credo. Full Lane does not sell the bronzer or the highlighters. So I purchased those from Credo and then I purchased this blush from Credo and then all of these I purchased from Folane. And I uh, I only purchased the refills. I didn't purchase the silver or the metal packaging so that I could just put them in a Z palette. It's a lot more affordable this way as well. I believe there's around a 20 to $24 difference between buying just the refill pan and buying it in the actual metal packaging. The packaging looks stunning. And I think it would be nice to just maybe have one of those. So uh, especially if you travel a lot or if you just wanna keep something small in your makeup bag, you can kind of interchange that and put whatever you want in there. 
Um, so I really wanted to get one of her foundations, but her foundation does have coconut oil in it. And I'm just trying to avoid that, agree that ingredient. Um, I may pick up one of her foundations and use it as a cream bronzer. Um, but just for now, I just wanted to test out some of her complexion products. So I have been wearing these. This is not a first impression. So I definitely have some thoughts on these. And we're just going to dive right in. I'm going to show you swatches of everything as well. So I'm going to start with the highlight first because that's just what I want to apply first. So I got the highlighter in the shade Ravishing. It is a uh, more kind of golden highlight. I think the other one that she has is more of a pinky highlight. That is what Ravishing looks like. And I'll insert swatches in natural light so you can see what everything looks like, both in studio lighting as well as in natural light. So I'm just gonna take this with my finger and just pat this. It is a little light um, because the there is quite a bit of base pigment in here. So when you first apply it, uh, I feel like it shows up a little light on me. You can really see that base pigment, which looks a little bit kind of ashy, slightly icy on me. But once you blend it in, um, it looks really, really nice. The formula of this is definitely more of a cream to matte formulation so i wouldn't say like a cream to powder but it's definitely more of a matte formula which i like i find that it wears better throughout the day it doesn't look quite as sticky or greasy on the skin so if you have more oily skin you may actually like this formula i know sometimes creams can be a little bit intimidating if you have an oilier skin type or even if you just live in a warmer climate like myself sometimes creams can uh, be a little bit intimidating because you just you want them to last and you want them to look good all day You don't want them to look too uh, oily or Greasy throughout the day and I don't find that this looks oily or greasy at all. I wore this all day yesterday and um, It looked great. It wore very very well. It didn't um, Wear off patchy or anything like that. It looked really really pretty. Right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer I did pick up one of her bronzers. She has two shades and I was torn. I wasn't sure which shade I wanted to get, so I went with the shade Dazzling. Um, this one seems like more of a golden, warm toned bronzer, whereas the other one was more of a red undertone. And I feel like this, I feel like I would reach for this one more. So that's why I went with this one. So I'll swatch this one as well so you can see what this looks like. So it definitely has more of a warm golden undertone. There is definitely visible uh, shimmer. I think when you get really up close, you can see the little flecks of gold glitter. But on the skin, I don't find that it translates that way. So I don't, I don't think you need to worry about that. But it's definitely more of a warm tone. Again, I didn't pick up the other one, so I can't swatch that one. But that one, from what I could see from swatches, it looked a little bit more on the red side. So I'm going to take this bronzer on an MOTD Get Cheeky With It brush. I've been loving this brush for cream products, especially cream bronzer and cream blush, liquid bronzer, liquid blush. This is such a great brush. So I'm just gonna go in directly into the product and then I just use stamping motions on the skin. I will say this shade is not gonna work for everyone because on me, I don't know if y'all be able to see, like for me, this is like a light bronzer. It's not, um, it's really not very deep. Now I can't speak for the other shade. Like I said, I don't know what that one looks like and I will probably purchase that one in the future at some point. Um, but this one is only gonna work for, you know, my skin tone and possibly lighter. Now I will say, I love this. I love this shade on me. It looks very natural. I was a little hesitant about this product because of the shimmer. I just wasn't sure how that was gonna translate on the skin, but I really just think it gives the skin such a beautiful, bronzy, sun-kissed look. Um, and I quite enjoy this. It wears very well throughout the day. Um, and again, it's more of that, like, it's not a cream to powder, but it's definitely a little bit more of a drier, slightly stiffer formula. It's still very easy to blend out, very creamy, but it is a little bit more of a matte formula, even though it shows up pretty glowy on the skin because of the 
shimmer that's in here. I feel like it does have a little bit more of a matte finish. So uh, again, if you have more oily skin or you just don't like the feeling of, you know, the kind of the stickier creams on the skin, I think you will quite enjoy this. Um, I just wish that they had a wider shade range. I think across the board, just in clean beauty, bronzers, Ten, there's tends to not be a very wide shade range. So this isn't going to work for everyone, but I will probably end up picking up the other shade. So in a future video, I can kind of show y'all comparisons between the two because this is just not going to work for everyone. But that being said, I do love this. I do enjoy it. Blends out beautifully. Looks really nice. Wears very well. And um, yeah, I've been wearing this a ton lately and I've really been enjoying it. All right, so I picked up quite a few blushes. My biggest disappointment, I think, and this could just be user error, um, I think my biggest disappointment is how close the shades are. So I have Blossoming, Sun Touched, and Desired Glow. Sun Touched, Sun Touched and Blossoming are so, so similar. So I feel like if you're wanting to try out some of her blushes, I maybe wouldn't get these two shades. They're pretty close. Blossoming is slightly lighter than Sun Touched, um, and I think it has a little bit more of a pinkiness to it. So I will swatch all of these for you, of course. And then I think the shade that I love the most and the one I was most excited about is Above and Beyond, which is this gorgeous, like poppy, or maybe like strawberry red. It's so, so pretty. So I'm gonna go and swatch all of these for you so you can see what they look like side by side. Right, so here we have Blossoming, Sun Touched, Desired Glow, and Above and Beyond. And Desired Glow is actually quite bronzy, so you could use that as a blush and a bronzer or a bronzer. Um, it's it's quite, quite more of a bronzy undertone. So this is the bronzer that I just used, which was, I'm already forgetting the names, Dazzling. So that's the bronzer that I just used, and then this is uh, Desired Glow, so. Um, definitely more on the bronzy spectrum, but I think if I were to go back in time, I probably would have picked Sun Touched over Blossoming. Even though I like both of them, I don't think you need both of them. They're just so very, very similar on the skin. Once you blend them out on the skin, they basically look the same. So that's my only kind of issue with the blushes. But other than that, again, just like the bronzer and the highlight, they are so incredibly beautiful. So for today, I really want to go with Above and Beyond. That is definitely my favorite color of the bunch. And I do want to pick up more shades because there was one that was more of like a berry tone that I think would be really nice to have in my collection. So I'm going to go in with Above and Beyond. I'm going to take this on a Real Techniques setting brush. So in comparison to the bronzer, I think the blushes are a lot more pigmented. Um, so you definitely just need a light hand. I mean, isn't just... This is just the most beautiful, sun-kissed, summery flush. I love this color. It can look quite intimidating in the pan, but once you kind of blend it out on the cheeks, it is not at all. A little bit up on the forehead, because why not? And then I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just blend around the edges, just so it looks a little bit more soft. But this is by far my favorite color. I love the formula of these. They wear extremely well. I was actually very shocked. Typically blush, just in general, uh, wears off on me fairly quickly, especially cream blush. Cream blush just does not last on me. These last surprisingly well. I wore um, a combination. I honestly just kind of mixed all of them together. Um, I wore them for about six, to, six or so hours and it looked like I just applied it at the end of the day. Like it looked fantastic. So I love, love, love this formula. Um, I love the way that it applies. It's super easy to use. It's not too dry where it's tugging at the skin. You can apply this under powder on top of powder. I've done it both ways and it works beautifully. Um, so this is a really great cream blush formula and I'm excited to try out more shades just cause I love these so far. I think they just look so beautiful on the skin. and. If I were to recommend any shade above and beyond, I think this would work for a variety of skin tones because it is so pigmented. If you have a more fair complexion, 
just kind of use it very, very sparingly. If you have a deeper complexion, you can really go in and apply that. And I just, I think this color is so gorgeous. It's just a beautiful, like poppy strawberry red. It's so perfect for summer and it's such a unique shade. I don't have anything quite like this in my collection. So I love this shade, I love how it applies. And I honestly just love all of these cream products. Uh, each of these pans just on its own, so the refillable pans retails for $32, which is pricey, okay? Very pricey. If you buy it in the compact, the metal compact, I think it's around like $54. So there's a quite a big difference in price. So I think if you're just wanting to try them out, maybe just buy a refill, try it out, see if you like it, and then you can buy the compact for it if you do end up liking the formula. Um, so price-wise, yes, they are pricey. Um, this is a very luxe, clean, organic brand. Um, I feel like just the interviews that I've seen with Kiara Weiss, she's very intentional about what she puts into her products, how she sources her ingredients, um, especially just the sustainability factor of all of the, you know, all of her products. Um, she's very intentional. So you're really paying for that thoughtfulness and um, just the quality that you're that you're getting in these cream products. So you're definitely paying high high price tag. I totally hear you on that front. This was a uh, this is why it's taken me so long to invest in these is because I was like, there's no way I'm paying 30 or even $50 for a blush. Like that's just, that's so expensive because there are some really great cream blushes on the market that are a lot more affordable, but you are paying for the quality of the ingredients, the sustainability, the just thoughtfulness and intention that the founder has put into her products. There's no coconut oil in her blush bronze and highlights. So that's a great thing as well if you're sensitive to coconut oil. I know it's hard to kind of get away from coconut oil in makeup products. So there's no coconut oil in here. So um, that's something great about it. I think what impresses me the most, not only is it just the formula and how it wears, how it applies, I love how you can buy the refills and create your own palette. Now to some of y'all, that may not be important and that's fine. I, for me, I like being inspired by color stories. I like being inspired by palettes. I like putting my products in palettes where I can see everything that I have. I don't have a bunch of, uh, you know, packaging and a bunch of, you know, just little things kind of here and there. I like having all of my products in one palette that I can reach for. I can look at all the colors and just from day to day, I can choose what colors I want to use and, Honestly, looking at this just is inspiring on its own, just kind of seeing all the different colors together rather than an individual packaging. Now that is coming from a person who has a lot of makeup. I have a lot of different blushes and a lot of different bronzers and highlights. And for me, I like having everything in one specific place. So uh, just kind of trying to find other brands that do this type of thing, it is very difficult. Uh, the Organic Skin Company, they have something very similar to this. Their stuff is quite pricey too, um, but they have a kind of refill system as well. I wish more companies would kind of get rid of the excess packaging and have those refillable options because for someone like me, I like being able to put all of, all of my products in one place. For me, it's just easier and I feel like it just helps with the whole creative process. Again, everyone's different. Everyone's preference is different. But for me, I will pay the higher price tag because I know I'm getting quality ingredients, I know I'm getting quality formula, but I'm also getting the option to where I can rearrange, a, you know, kind of make my own color story, make my own palette, and for me, that just makes me happy. So I am willing to pay the higher price tag for these. I'm not saying you have to. Like I said, there are really great cream blush options on the market. The number one that comes to mind is Honest Beauty. I think those are fantastic. They're less than $20. Um, I think they're well under $20 and they have a wide range of colors. So um, you don't necessarily need to spend this money, but I think if you're just looking for something like this, this is a great option. So I am gonna add just a little bit of my Pacifica powder, just a tiny bit, because I feel like I want this to last and I, want, um, I don't want my concealer to move around. So I'm not gonna powder my whole face. I'm just gonna powder under my eyes and just kind of in the T-zone 
around my nose, chin, where I tend to get a little bit, whoo, a little too much powder, where I tend to get a little bit shiny and oily throughout the day. All right, and then I'm going to actually use these on my eyes just for a really quick and simple look. I think I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take the bronzer and I'm taking this on a Real Techniques base shadow brush. I don't know why I don't know the name of this. I use this all the time. And I'm just gonna take that across the lid. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlighter on my finger and just kind of tap that on the center. And then kind of blend that out. All right, and then I'm just gonna go in with my favorite Ilia mascara. All right, and then for lips, I'm gonna try this lipstick again. Um, this was, I used this in like a while back in one of my videos and I just was not feeling the pink, but today I'm gonna try it. Um, it's a gorgeous color. I don't know what my issue that day was. I was having issues with my makeup. So I'm gonna go in with Saint Cosmetics. I think this is their Velvet Lip Cream uh, in the shade Milan. All right guys, so that completes this video. I hope you found this helpful. I'm just gonna kind of round out my thoughts. So if maybe you missed some spots or you skipped to the end, I'm just gonna round out my thoughts um, and just kind of let you know what I think overall. I'm gonna make this real, real quick. So I think if you're looking for a good quality cream blush that wears well, applies easily, just really no fuss, easy to use, great ingredients, intentional ingredients, organic, ethically sourced, um, and then if you're looking for a blush that you can create your own palette with, you can really get creative with and kind of use in your own way, I think these are worth the price. Now, I'm not saying go out and buy all of them. Like I said, some of the shades are quite similar. So I would highly recommend um, looking at swatches online. I know not all the stores are open at the moment, so you can't go in and swatch them. But if you can just find some swatches online, um, and then hopefully my swatches today help you a little bit, you can kind of determine, you know, which blush do you need, which blush do you not need, which highlight bronzer do you need. And then also just that added fact that this is a luxury makeup brand. This is something that is more special. It's um, it's just something that's like a treat. You know, I, I mentioned this when I talked about Lila B products. Do you absolutely need, you know, a super expensive product like that? No, but if you want to treat yourself or you want to have something special and unique and different and just... You know, even if it's just the fancy packaging, if you just want something luxe like that to set on your vanity that's gonna make you feel special, that's going to brighten your day every morning when you're getting ready for work or getting ready for your day, if that's just something that's going to brighten your spirits, you have the financial capabilities of purchasing something like this, I think it's worth it. Again, this is not me saying you have to have these products. There are so many great cream bronzer, cream highlights, and cream blushes on the market. I talk about them all the time. I love creams. I have a lot of them. There are a lot of really, really great ones on the market. But I think there is something quite unique about what Kira Weiss is doing here. And again, just from an artistry standpoint, I like the fact that you can really create you know what you want. You can create your own foundation palette, foundation bronzer highlight palette, foundation bronzer blush. Like you can really have fun with this and create your own palette. And if you are a working artist, this might be something nice to add to your kit. Um, I am not a working artist. I'm not a makeup artist, but that would just be something that I think would be nice to have. So um, for me, I give these a thumbs up. I think they're fantastic. I think they're worth the price in all the areas that I talked about. If you're looking for those specific things, I think these check all those boxes. And I am very, very happy with these. I will continue to use them. I will continue to buy more shade. Anyway, I try to keep that as short as possible, but I hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to comment down below, DM me on Instagram. I try and keep myself as available as possible and uh, hopefully I can help you in any way that I can. But thank you so much for watching as always. Remember, I love you. God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.